Hola a todos. This is a video tutorial for virtual study abroad number seven. So let's uh, open the instructions. In this activity, you will learn about how to use the Madrid subway. You will also plan a route on the subway from your apartment to Barajas Airport. Paso uno. You will soon leave Madrid, and you've decided to use the subway to travel from your apartment to the airport for your return flight. You're researching how to use the subway, and you find this article online. Read the below excerpt, then answer in English the questions that follow. So we're going to set up a document. Okay, paso uno, and we can answer those questions right there. Paso dos will be for our writing. We'll get to that in just a moment. You're planning your route on the subway to get to the airport, and you consult the Metro de Madrid website. Go to the website and follow the below instructions to complete Paso 2. Plan your route beginning from the air, uh, subway station closest to your apartment and ending at the station Aeropuerto T4. Take a screenshot of your route and insert it in your document. Using formal singular commands, write a paragraph describing the steps needed to arrive at the airport following your route. Add your paragraph to your document and label this portion of your work Paso 2, then upload your document to share it. Okay, we have a model we'll look at here in just a minute, but first we're going to go to the Metro de Madrid website. Okay, and just scrolling down, this is where we're going to plan our route. So uh, this is we can use this to uh, go from a station, but we can actually go from some other places too if we need to. So here's Google Earth, and I have my apartment marked here. So we can zoom in on that. Okay. And if I just scroll, uh, zoom out using the minus sign, you can see that the icons for the subway pop up. So there's one there, and that would probably be the closest one for me. There's also, sometimes you have to back up a little bit more to see them. There's one there. There's one there. There's another there. So anyways, um, you're just going to pick the one that's closest to your apartment. Now, if you don't remember where your apartment's at or you don't have a mark, you can go back to virtual study broad number one and look at the coordinates. If you don't have that, you can actually just pick somewhere from the center of Madrid. Okay, the important thing is that we have a starting point and that we end up at the airport so that we get a route that we can describe in our essay. It's also possible, if you prefer, to use a place where it says introduce un lugar. Okay, for example, I could put uh, La Puerta del Sol, and then it would take me there. Um, I'm going to use the station, and getting back to Google Earth, the station closest to me was called, and if I just scroll over it, um, I'll see the name of it. I'm going to go with Callao. Okay, so I'll engage that. And then using the drop down, I'll pick out Callao. The station I'm going to is Aeropuerto T4, Buscar. Okay, so if I just scroll down, it's going to give me my uh, route. Let me close this out. It looks like this. And I'm going to make a screenshot of that. I'm going to use a snipping tool. There's other ways to do this, but this is uh, what I'm going to use this time. Okay, I'll save that as a file. Okay, and then I'm going to insert that to my document under Paso Dos. So I'll just uh, put the cursor there, insert, picture. And here's my file. Okay, I already have an example written, so let's take a look at that. And this is uh, actually on the instructions. Para llegar al aeropuerto Barajas desde Sol, es necesario tomar tres trenes. Primero, suba al tren en línea 2, dirección Las Rosas. Después de cuatro paradas, baje del tren en Príncipe de Vergara. Luego, suba al tren en línea 9, dirección Paco de Lucía, y continúe hasta Colombia. Efectúe trasbordo en Colombia con línea 8, dirección Aeropuerto T4. Aeropuerto T4 es la última parada de línea 8. Baje del tren aquí. La duración del viaje es aproximadamente 42 minutos. 
Okay, I hope that's been helpful. If you have any other questions, please direct them to your instructor. Gracias y mucha suerte con la tarea.